see for just a second. Yeah. It's halted. under you can open them all the way if you want or halfway the bottom jaws will go under there I understand uh, one's hoping oh. yeah like that then uh, then close the jaws and then kind of roll the pitch up a little yeah, see, see if you can pop it uh, it's gonna break it's gonna my break grip force nine. Okay. <laughs> Gonna break a piece off. I know it. Of the arm or of the rock? No, of the rock. <laughs> <laughs> Good clarification. Uh, it could go either way. One, one or one or the other is gonna break. <laughs> <laughs> the vehicle. Just, what if I try to grab? Oh, that's what oh. I wanted. Oh. Got it. Where? All right. Oh. Well, there's something there. Yep. Oh. Yeah, so that technique, you're just breaking a little piece of the crust off. Oh, now it's like yeah. sitting all nice and perched for you. Is it? There's a bit of a hole there, so you can't see it. Is it the one just right under? To the right. To the right? Right where you were. This one? Yep. So you got to kind of, you had a really nice bite there. Like the bit that fell off? No, put two two fingers under the ledge. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, same way you did before. Gotcha. We're just looking for a bigger piece. It's kind of sticking out all around there, and there's some cracks in the crust, so it should, yeah. should break off. That little nubbing that's sticking out might also break off. Yeah. Some cracks there. Yeah. You're basically using the jaws as a pry bar. To <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the ticket. Oops. Sorry, crying the right thing. Oh, oh. oh it's it just crumbled. It's a crumble. Um, try again. Sure. Okay. You might, as it's starting to break off, you might have to ease off on your grip a little. Okay. It's a bit friable there. Suspenseful. No. I know I'm holding my breath. Come on. It was uh, maybe a little thinner to the right a bit, but you can try that okay. one now that you got it. It's up to you. I feel like it's you ready. Yeah. Oh. 
I'm gonna go back to the right. Easy lateral left, it should bring okay. us back in. I'm gonna try to grab. Hold, hold your arm where you are, I'm pivot, okay. pivoting on you. Okay. You can bring your yaw to the left as I pivot left. Other left. Other left. Yeah, that's the way. Um, you see in 4K, what if I try grabbing that lip just to the right of where the jaws are right now? Yeah, I can try. That one won't break there. What? It won't break off there. Well, I can give it another try. I haven't really given it a good. Yeah, give it a good. Get Western with it. Let me <laughs> <laughs> get it. Uh, ready? Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> More. Thanks for trying. Yeah. yeah. That was fun. Well, we made some, we could scoop the rubble. <laughs> <laughs> that was a question that just came in. Can you slurp the crumbled pizzas and get what you need? <laughs> I don't know. That's uh, up to the scientists. I think they want a piece. What about any of those in there? Yeah, cool. some in there. Oh, yeah. This could be. After all that work, there's one <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think yeah, one of those has like, to be loose? Oh, come on. They've, like, this one right there. Yeah. A little potato. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Send the, the rock vibes over. From the 4K cam, it looks like it's attached. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hello, Sorry. Hung up. Turn that 4K camera off. Come on. <laughs> 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 it's, it's cheating. It's not good for morale. Cameras would ban. It's not good for morale, yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, what about the ball? 4K was right. <laughs> no. What about the one to the left? Wait, I think you moved that one. This did one? you or did you just take pieces off of it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You told her to get Western, so. <laughs> yeah, she's she's no, getting we're it. just punching she's things. <laughs> she's determined oh. now. Yeah. I'll get my rock. I'm getting uh, one. I didn't, <laughs> I I didn't see any of those move, did you? No. All Let right. Try this, this little ledge, maybe? Let's keep sure. going okay. a little bit. Try to make some way. Some possible ledge there, but. Yeah, I'd like to see one on the crust. If, you're, if we're in there, we're more likely to hurt ourselves. We're definitely yeah. getting rock before the end of this uh, watch. <laughs> we better. <So> yeah. <laughs> not leaving the chair until we are not leaving. <laughs> nice try. Okay. okay. Grab secure. I don't know. I think sometimes you just need, like, hope. <laughs> <laughs> That's been the theme of this cruise, hasn't it? <laughs> Sometimes you just Ooh. need hope, and the next watch can sometimes be. Is that a little sponge? Something hopeful. weird there on that rock. It looks like a sea dandelion. I bet you there is such thing as a sea dandelion. Yeah, there it's the is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, common name for the benthicinophore. Siphonophore. I'm going push it. Benthic siphonophore. Benthicinophore. Siphonophore. Yeah. You want to what push it, it on a little tiny sponge, is it? Or were we, uh, oh, sponge. I just said I was going in. Okay. Yeah. But from where it, yeah. it looks like, you know. Okay. I'm a little like surprised we, we haven't seen a dandelion out here. We can move on. They're usually everywhere. Okay, moving on. Uh, Drift it a bit. Let's do... Uh, let's 
Zero one zero. Zero one zero, right. Bridge now. Uh, two zero meters, zero one zero, please. We were doing that train break the crest on the mid-Atlantic ridge. We had a little bit stronger manipulator. We're trying to get a little piece. We <laughs> went <laughs> try it thing. We're sitting there holding it. Okay, now what do you want me to do? Of course, the geologist, can you break off a smaller piece? <laughs> so we're holding it in one minute and beating it with the other one. Oh no! Never did get it. <laughs> you couldn't break it again. And you didn't just bring it back on the porch, holding the whole no, thing? No, 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 they didn't want to do that. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. So they're holding this one meter slab. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some things brought up on this vehicle that <laughs> definitely don't fit on the porch. <laughs> Ship move underway. Roger. Come on, Rex. There's some ledges. Yeah, ledges for days. And how I kind of want to see a sea dandy line. It's a siphonophore, yes? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, the genus name is Thermopalea. Did I miss something there? Maybe there's something loose in there that that ledge is kind of caught. But I don't know if you can get the claws in there. Flying pokes. You're looking at this piece here? Uh, it's got some purchase there. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, there's a few little pieces sticking out. There's one in the top of the camera sticking out. That All right, might really let's do it off. here. We're not moving until we get a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge accepted. You, can, you well, can let her finish. Let it go. Yeah, yeah it's seven right. meters left. I like that one sticking out up there. This one. Yeah. Yeah. Either. Either. It, it'll probably it'll probably break off. Could break off. Let me uh. To punch no. it or just no, <laughs> see that it. one? See it sticking out up there just behind your jaws? It's behind them. Oh, yeah. So if you can grab it at the right angle, oh, then you might be able to break yeah. it off. Okay. Anton, I was ready to punch it. <laughs> <laughs> Lined up. Just, yeah, just smack it. You need oh. this, the spring loaded jaws contraption? <laughs> On a rock. <laughs> oh, piece of it off. Oh, oh no. If I get a better grab on it, I literally find myself holding my breath each time. I <laughs> my new fear is that one gets loose and then just rolls down slow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that that's happened. <laughs> yeah, it has. Uh, 
Can you try and get the jaws uh, around it the other way? Okay. Oops. Yeah, like that. You can punch it once if you want. But. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you, you, you got your revenge. I think <laughs> we should get going. No? You want me to try for another grab? Uh, no? You got one more try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The there's right still angle. there's still that's the right angle. Ninety percent of the dive left to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's just see if I can get a good grab on it. Oh no! It is kind of like a video game. Find the rock. I don't know. All right, let's call it here and okay. Let's, okay. let's get up to waypoint two and then. Just, just to confirm that there isn't a pile of perfect rocks just sitting up there. <laughs> that would be kind of tragic. And you spent how long trying to break one? <laughs> Bridge now. Yeah. Two zero meters, zero one zero. There's just an incredible amount of sediment on this side. Mm-hmm. Let's see, is this the first time, I'm trying to think of all the different sides of different features we've dove so far, and Crap secures. Roger, thank you. The only southeast side of something we dove was actually that deep dive we did next to Palmyra, and that was pretty sedimented too. So maybe just the southeast sides of these ridges are more it's sedimented. Like more yeah, sedimented. more more deposit than uh, current scoured. Currents don't necessarily impact all the sides of a seamount uniformly. Sometimes certain sides are more current scoured, and sometimes they're they're less. I'm just gonna drop down real quick here. Okay. The cliff I can't resist. <laughs> Ship moves underway. 4K <laughs> ride. <laughs> so is that 4K now the rock camera view? Like <laughs> well, if you were yeah. falling down slope in the point of view of a rock, I could, <laughs> yeah. is that I what you would see? Couldn't normally come down that fast without having that able to, otherwise I'd likely come down them. Who knows what? Mm -hmm. Come back up a little slower. Out of the dust zone, hopefully. Well, I think the, the most important thing is that we do get a rock. It doesn't really matter. Well, it kind of does matter where, but... <laughs> <laughs> is that the bar going lower? Oh, or yeah. <laughs> you just have to prove a point now. It's a... Uh, it's all the lessons and rocks we met along the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's the true lesson of this site. Oh, got a question coming in. Are there possible animals living in the caverns and crevasses on the rocks? Yes, and that's why Dan doesn't want to stick the claw in there. <laughs> <laughs> that's scary. Might get an ouchie. <laughs> ouchie. Oh, I can't quite get over there. Yeah, I mean, uh, realistically, there's probably all sorts of things living in these uh, holes, you know, polychaete worms and maybe some, you know, small crustaceans, um, maybe even some attached bryozoans or sponges or things like that, but uh, it kind of looks like the face of a dog. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You see the eyeball? We're at this point of the day. It does. We've <laughs> been looking at rocks you see that, that long see yeah. now. I think yeah. gorilla. See old gorilla. Oh, yeah. I definitely see the gorilla. I see a lion. I see a <laughs> monkey. <laughs> what color is it? Is it blue or gray? No. <laughs> I see the gorilla, yeah. Okay, I'm just weird because I saw an elephant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could see the gorilla, too. I, could, I, I think I see the elephant going the other direction. Okay, the slopes moderating a little bit here. Maybe we can find something that's 
loose ish. Mm hmm. Okay, never mind. Let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta come back over where I'm supposed to be here. Uh -huh. Took a little. Took a little detour there. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. That's all, that's all you're gonna hear from Samantha. <laughs> is judging us, Dan. No, no. <laughs> could have been a could have no. been a rock over there. <laughs> <laughs> Just here for the ride. It's some nice pillow textures where the lasers just were. Yeah. Bridge nav. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Two zero meter zero one zero. Oh, question about the lights from the ROV. Does it have any lasting effects on marine life? Yeah, they're no. blind for like 10 years after we <laughs> that no, no, that's not true. <laughs> that's, let's, so let's hear from Science Row first. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> there, as far as we know, there's, there's no real effect. Uh, things that don't like the vehicle will probably swim away. Usually they'll swim away. Hey, somebody else saw the elephant too on the rock. I'm not, al I'm not alone. Are a majority of the creature like fish stuff we would see down here, would they be blind? Because they are mostly in darkness? Yeah, some of the things are probably, uh, they're probably just responding to, you know, Maybe some sensitivity of certain wavelengths that you know are probably not on the visible spectrum. Um, so some things might be, for example, responding to bioluminescence, which might be you know more in the blue wavelengths. Um, there, those blue lev wavelengths will travel a lot further. Um, maybe not so much to the the warmer wavelengths. Um, a lot of we know a lot of deep sea animals have a lot of chemical recognition uh, capabilities. So they're sensing, you know, tastes and smells in the water column, basically that uh, you know might attract them to certain prey. Some of them, uh, like some of the fishes, like the cuskiels we were looking at a few days ago, have um, these uh, barbel-like structures where they can feel vibrations in the sediments from things like worms and chase them down so that's more mechanical oh there's a fish another uh got there. there. Stopped crinoid. Oh, no. Umbellopathies. No. Uh, Alternatopathies. No, Umbellopathies. It's a bit shallower. Does anyone else wonder if these are real species or if Steve's just making them up? <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first time I've heard that. Yeah. Uh. Fortunately, if you too are curious about all these names, the there is a database that is meticulously maintained I knew that by was gonna happen as soon as I went for a drink. Sorry. Members of our scientific community. It's called Worms. Worms? Yeah, it's a database called the Worms. It's the World Register of Marine Species. And all of these names are kept current according to the advances in techno taxonomy over time. So you too can find all the words I'm saying. <laughs> all right, I think we're good with that one. We've seen it a few times. All right. What was the name of that site again? Worms. Uh, I think it's marinespecies.org is the is the URL. Okay. It's like worms, scientists and their acronyms, I tell ya. <laughs> Just wait, have you seen the government? Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, now I'm like. All right, call me what crazy. Is, what do we see right there? Yeah. <laughs> see. Are we gonna go for see. it? Are we gonna They're go crazy. for it? Come on, look at this. Look at the alignment of this rock. Like that's not normal, right? Well, mm. <laughs> <laughs> could do zoom first. Sure. There, yeah, go ahead, Tammy. Oh, I see what you're seeing there. Mm. Uh -huh. I think we yeah. have a target. Come on. <laughs> it looks like a broken piece. Could happen. All right, all right. The geologist is on my side. You've got some Who else wants to come over? <laughs> <laughs> Switzerland. Mm. I want to. Mm, can Antonella punch it first and then I'll decide? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be happy to. I think that's cheating. <laughs> punch it and then it'll disappear into the sun. <laughs> Quick sand, the like. <laughs> Soft. I could just mess up our visibility. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't, that was a double punch there. No. I didn't see it. <laughs> we land again. I love how we have to go back just in case. <laughs> It, it moved, it moved. It yeah. yeah. It like yeah, tipped yeah. over. It cracked in half too. We're gonna have to excavate half the mountain, but <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it. Let it clear for a second. Ship stopped. Just They're big, big rocks. Flying rocks. No, like on the other rock. From the smoke rises a rock. <laughs> you can do the blind grab, or you can let it clear. It's up to you. I don't fall on anything. I hope it's not a floating uh, rock after I, all that. I'd let oh it clear for a minute. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Look at that. Fine. Is it? Did it break? Yeah, yeah it broke it into did. three. Well, that's good. Now we don't. Have, now we can see what's inside. Yeah. Zoom in just that's a bit. That's what was going to happen. Sure. Anyways, it looked right? a little yeah. weathered on the bottom, so we'll see. Yeah, that one's loose. Okay, who gets the points for spotting that one out? Yay! Yay. Woo! <laughs> nice <luck. laughs> A loose rock. Oh. Viewers, hello Portland? world. Hello world, we have a rock. <laughs> we have successfully identified a loose rock, <laughs> and it is currently <laughs> is porch light on? in the grip yeah, can you turn uh, the manipulator. It is now. If you're just joining us and wondering why this is so exciting, <laughs> rewind for the last <laughs> three hours. <laughs> Oh, that's real yeah, weather. Oh my gosh, look at yeah, that's that's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely... Oh. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> I might have a thin crust on that very... Wait, do you not want it now? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, what's happening? We're keeping this rock. <laughs> All right, well, let, let's put it away anyway. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no. That's oh, time promising. Star Aww. Starboard box. We don't have a quota here. How do you how do you describe it? You had a bunch of rock words now, Steve. How would we describe this one? Uh, get a good. Uh, what did you say? Flat, yeah, flat, sedimentary. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Flat, yeah. sedimentary with a thin crust. Sorry. That sounds a lot different yeah. than volcanic. I'm just saying. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Very different. <laughs> Definitely a New York style crust. <laughs> <laughs> Chicago style. <laughs> oh my gosh. We Celebrations are coming we, we in from all dish. over the world, people. <laughs> yeah. That was so exciting. Oh my goodness. Celebrations. Yay, we got the rock. Thank Which goodness. Now I can go again? to sleep. Apparently they uh, were waiting for that. <laughs> push it out a little more. Probably okay. eight. Yeah, you can pop it in Look whichever this. box. Look uh, at that. Let's see. Let's Look at all these candidates around here. <laughs> oh, I see. Look at the one right in the middle. <laughs> Steve's having uh, 
fear of like faux more, fear of missing out on rocks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's that? I'll tilt it over We're going to call this dive rock safari. Yeah. Rock <laughs> a rock safari. That's another title for one of our so albums or something. You could probably put yeah. it anywhere. Yeah. It's small enough, it's not going to take up too much space. Oh, my arm all torqued over here. Cool. Where is it? Well, I want it. Yeah, we're pitching here. You are locked up. Yeah, I see that. Can I just drop it here? Could just sure. plank go it. Yeah. See where it goes. Kind of like that game on the prices, right? Where you drop it and it, yep. okay. it went into F. It's Sorry. an F, perfect. It's an F. I get my arms sorted out. Rebecca, was that 64? 65. 65, thank you. Well done, team. I'm telling you, there are celebrations happening all over the world right now. <laughs> <laughs> Rock on, spectacular. Rock thank on. you, thank you. Yay. Whew. Can I take a look along this ledge right here? Right. Steve's oh, already going for the next one. Uh -huh. you, you're passing up on no, the other no. ones you saw, Steve? No, no I, I'm not passing. I'm just nice got to move on. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to take a look at some of those sponges. Like underneath that ledge in kind of the dark right now? Yeah, the, the one that's dead ahead on the, on the lasers is uh, a good candidate. Oh, nice. Quite, there's a, there's a bit that. of diversity here I can make out from this distance. But the sponge Draft right here secure. in front of us is actually the thing I'm most interested in. Sorry, which one, Steve? The sponge right on the lasers right now. Head ahead. Right here. Okay, Tammy, I think I've got the right one. The guy in the bottom of the picture here. Whoa. Yeah, whoa. that is a bizarre. Okay, this is weird. Sponge. Um, that actually is a sponge on our to grab list. Ooh. Uh, can we take a piece of that? We can. It's probably going to be very fragile, and it's on a vertical wall, so yeah. can no we, pressure. Uh, can we do a vessel move? Um, sure. Steve, is that just a sponge? Meters, uh, two, two, or sponge Ten and meters, It's a glass sponge, primarily. Okay. Yeah, so this is a glass sponge, possibly a ferrated glass sponge, and all we have is a family question mark on this one, so uh, it is curious. Curious enough that it's worth a uh, another look. Are there multiple ones in this area? There's a bunch of multiple stuff sponges. Yeah. Are there multiple sponges? Um, we've seen a couple of glass sponges so far: Sacrocalyx and then this Ferade. Um I expect to see Can more as we move shallower. Get a chance. Put the yep. DSC back up there. Yeah. So I don't make sure um. I don't smack it when I come into land here. We can do um, yeah. we can do one of these large branches, uh, whatever is easiest for you all. I think for ease of stowage, I think I'd like to put it in the forward box. Roger. Copy. Mm -hmm. Just move Argus away from the wall and out behind us, hopefully. I'm going to park the DSC underneath the cliff.
Okay, I'm in pretty tight there, so. Okay. Um, I'm gonna look over at the arm for you. Might be sure. too tight. Thanks. Swing out a little, that's too tight. Okay. <laughs> it's funny, and we're around the corner from Argus now. And <laughs> just, just to let you know, there's, um, Parts of this sponge that are dead and parts that are alive, we're going to want the kind of whiter portion. The darker, more opaque portion is probably dead sponge. Roger. We're going to find a perch here and then uh, we'll try and get a close up before we snip. Tammy, you can try for a zoom there. That should move just about complete. Right here. Uh, if you can get some of that uh, coral too on there, that wouldn't be all that bad either, but may require a deeper grab. You know, the, those polyps are part of a coral attached to the sponge. Who came uh, first? In the view here or below? The uh, just a second, where's my telestrator? Yeah, the, the coral polyps are here, so if you can grab something like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you can zoom out a bit. Crap off. Roger. Let's try another uh, 10 meters on 225. Roger. Bridge now. One zero meters, bearing two two five. You have to move nice and slow because you'll uh, steal my float. Okay. Oh, this will cause the arm to the ROV to move around. Zoom in there, Tammy. Thank you. Um. If you can't grab the coral, it's okay too. The sponge is the primary target. Okay. I think we can. Yeah, I think good. Uh, pan left a little. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, put your grip force to like three or four. I put it on three already. Perfect. Uh, should I try to get below that other guy so I don't? Yeah, because it'll. Okay. FYI, it'll this is going to be really crunchy. It's going to break very easy. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. That's the bite he wants right about there. Right there? I don't there? know where that voice came from. Happy with that, Steve? Uh, Go in this little more. Like that that more one's just the, yeah. that one's mostly just the coral. We'd like to get some of the sponge too. So the, the sponges are going to be these branches. If you want to do two okay. grabs, you can do that if you yeah, want. Two grabs. Two grabs. Okay. Yeah. Oops, sorry, I lost it. Let me come back in. It's right there. I think so. That, yeah. yeah that, that's fine. Yeah, that's for the coral bit. Nicely done. So is this going in the forward box, you said? Yeah. Uh, actually, you know what? You could probably slurp that. Okay. It'd probably be fine to uh, put that through the slurp hose. Come wide, please. Thank you. The sponge, I'm not so sure it's worth slurping. Maybe we have to split the sample. Okay, hold on, I gotta 
Okay. Shouldn't have tried stick lock. That's what I get. <laughs> I was balancing the whole time. Uh. I'm just going to come off the wall here. Okay. Our tether's a little too close for comfort. Um, should, should be able to give you a flush too. Let's see. There we go. No, that should move complete. Roger. Okay, it should be flushed. Okay. I'll give it a little more. Do so you want me to go in, face it in, like this way? Yep. I hope if I give you a camera. Zoom in a bit there, Tammy. Uh, jar number one, right? Uh, yep. Or seven, whichever way. Number one. Hang on, I'm going to need to reorient here. Gotta get the coral closer to the suction sampler. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I can't tell you. You just gotta play with it till you get it where you want it. it it's, that armpit grab is like the worst ever. I think you're getting, you're close now. We can box it if it's a, you know, hassle. Uh, we'll get there. Okay. Section line will help. You can just turn the wrist just a little and you'll have it. Super slurp. You haven't seen it come in the jar yet, have you? Yeah. There, there it, it is. Yay. Um, the next one, Steve, will not go in the jar, is that right? Well, let, let's see how it responds to, to the gripper. Okay, I'm going <coughs> to leave it on jar one for now, so in case we want to go find our sample spot again it's um so the last one so we, we expect these sponges to be you know, crunchy and fragile but the last one was 
kind of more flexible only because it was held together by a tissue for, of the coral. All right. So uh, this one's going to be a little bit more fragile. And um, let's see. up there. Yeah. Right, up, right up top it. here. Is that it there? Up the top? There's one right here, yeah. That it might actually be a different colony, in which case that's okay. We'll just make call it another sample number. Doesn't uh, I actually think it that's might the be the same, same colony. Yeah. I think that's it. You got some other choices here. If you do want to take one of the other ones, if it's better positioned. I think uh, we were farther back to our right. Sorry. I'm getting stretched out there. There's no reason you have to take from the same colony. It's all the same sponge. I'm going to slide back to the right because a uh, uh, tight tether there will be hard to... Hard to hold it. to be here in the dust cloud. Is it that guy down below there in the muck? Oh. Uh, yeah, that's one of them. Oh, I think it's that one, because it has the dead bits to it. Yeah, I think uh, that's the one. I think that's the one. Yeah, that's why I was saying don't use stick lock. <laughs> when it goes wrong, it goes horribly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Steve, can you remind Roger. us about this particular sponge and Sometimes why it's of interest? Sometimes you have to free up your hands. But yeah, this is a uh, this type of the glass clock. sponge that um, we believe is in the family Furia day. Okay, I'm perched. Okay. Um, it has not been identified in this uh, area beyond that, uh, beyond family. Nice. And, uh, yep. Sorry, um, oh. would you mind circling the bit that you want? Yeah, so just the, the lighter colored material here, oh. to material here. Okay. One of Thanks. those branches, you can get as much or as little as you want, but we want at least 10 centimeters or so. Okay. So because this is a unusual sponge we don't have a lot of information on yet, if we can Way get a piece of it to identify it, it'll tell us a lot more about the diversity of this seamount. I could swing around to the left a little more. Um, sure, and something yeah. about if this is a known species or maybe a new species entirely. Somewhere like that. That should be doable. Yeah. There are a number of associated animals with this collection, namely squat lobsters. Uh, I believe I saw a crinoid earlier, too, on one of their colonies. Uh, but a very small squat lobster, too. Each of these branches is uh, likely to be very fragile. These animals are made out of glass or glass spicules. So it's good right there. there. I don't think I'm in. There it is. That's a grab. Oops. That's okay. That one's in my... I don't think it cut. That's all right. I'll put him in the... But it's kind of... Okay, there it is. Great. Do you think we can put that in the forward box? Yeah, probably. Let me uh, come off the wall here and land so if you can okay. hold what you got there. Yep, halted. Is that full wide, Tammy? Thank you. 
Oh, good morning to the Netherlands tuning in today. Okay, I'm going to rack back on the camera. And I'll open the box if I can find the right button. Where is it? Where is it? This guy, I think. Now the question for the science team on ship is uh, how are we going to prepare this in such a way that it remains I intact or left or the close right. to intact? Do you have I, choice? Either, okay. yeah. Then the left or the right lambda. Is it going to be floaty? Uh, it could be, but we won't know. If, it, okay. if you... Um, let go of it, then I could dead stick and float up. Okay. Uh, let me get my finger on the tool tray in button. Okay. Okay. We're ready. Sorry. I'm going to start closing a little. Yeah, it's going to fall in there. Oops. Is that between the two? Hang on. It's okay. We can make a note that part of it may have fallen into the other box. Do you want me to try to get it in there? I think it'll go. It's going. It's going. Yay. Oh. Close. Go on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Give it another little push, a little encouragement. I can help. I think you got it. There you go. Yeah. Closing. Very nice. Awesome. Get all nice done. Yeah, go for a nice sample. Just remember, if it was easy, somebody would have collected it already. Right. Oh, it's coming up. Uh, come on. Oh, could have. Stay in there. <laughs> Shit. You can chop it if Let's if you need camera. to. Also, hang on. Uh, I just get reoriented here. I got it. Oh, <laughs> perfect. It's just jack in the box. Oh, nice. Whew. There you go. How do you take a breath? Well nice. done. Good <laughs> 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 teamwork. <laughs> well done. Nicely done. After the go back and look at that clip again? Yeah, no. <laughs> right? I'm, I've got a highlight Should on I that one. there? <laughs> After the rock hunter did her <laughs> job, a simple sponge is a piece of cake. Congrats, rock hunter. Got a new name. <laughs> a rock a puncher. rock hunter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rock puncher is a pretty good, like, hardcore RV name. There you go. <laughs> call, we call her the it. rock puncher. <laughs> <laughs> Been punching rocks. <laughs> 2000 and something. Ooh, look <laughs> as long at those. as I don't punch these, it's all yeah. it's all <laughs> Breakable lava tubes there, too. Uh, uh, did you want to go poke around here, here in the muck, or you? Uh, I, I wanted to kind of go along the wall. There was a bunch of other things, but. There was. Just, just for uh, a brief little uh, foray, and then we're going to head up up R slope. Roger. We're going to do a walkabout. Roger, foray. Yeah, for a, a bit dusty. I think we can get to waypoint two for the next watch. ROB uh, was in here sampling. Poke around <laughs> here. <laughs> oh, um, how do glass sponges form glass coming through while we're looking around? Yeah. Oh, that's really oh. interesting. I mean, that's mostly uh, the glass is made out of Sorry? silica. Uh, which they can extract from the water yeah, itself. Come up, I'm um, pulling out so here around the corner there. That, okay. That raw material Let's from. Get the brief for you here. And clear water, hopefully. 
There we go. Sorry, I took that in there. People wondering at first. Can we just do a zoom uh, in this general area? Sure. And uh, I think. Uh, right, go ahead, Tammy. You know what? We'll. Um, That's good. Um, zoanthids, huh? Like a candy store for Steve here. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, can we do a, a Niskin bottle right in this area? Mm. And then sure. that'll be the last thing. Oh. eDNA target? Yeah, I think so. Um, there, there's enough diversity here, corals and sponges, that um, could be an interesting collection. And uh, we have identities on a number of these species already. The further, the closer to the wall you could be, the better. Well, we're pretty close. I can uh, put the niskins right over the wall. We're uh, right on the top of it here, so. Yeah, you want to pop one there this somewhere? This is okay. Sure. Thank you for such an exciting, stressful, and suspenseful sampling <laughs> session. I wonder if that's a sparse brancher over there. Bamboo. Can we, uh, let's do uh, 10 meters north then, if that's Better. where I really am. Or my smear there. Yeah, we can try that. Bridge nav. Uh, one zero meters bearing zero, please. We're gonna turn on the porch light, Tammy. Okay. And then after this, we're gonna go take a look at this critter here. Mm -hmm. Number one's the easiest one. Should be a picture of a coral. Uh, no? Okay. Never mind. Mm -hmm. And then behind there. Okay. Never mind. Dang it. not looped open enough to get your finger wow. in, is it? It's pretty... You can grab it if you want to. Just don't open your jaws all the way. Working that DSC back there? Or are you in this skin suspense? Uh, well, no, we're uh, we it taking went. some yep. good images. Great. All right. It's still nice one. So, uh, I gotta move that jar to, or when you get a chance, maybe. Sorry? Uh, after you stow that thing, can you put the jar on the flush? Yeah. Ship move complete. Roger, thank you. Sorry, which one, what kind do you want to look at, Steve? Uh, can you so back many? up a 
touch. Back up. Back up. Yep. It's this one right down here. Right there. Very thin branches. see a lot of branching coral right there. Why, why are you picking out, zooming in on that one? So this one, okay, we just me. wanted to check if it Zoom could be bit. one of the sparse branchers that uh, oh, one of our Mary's scientists out for. here, yeah, is uh, doing some work on. That's good. And uh, I okay. want to specifically look at the where it's branching, uh, if, if the branch is occurring at a node or, or where. If you can get a tight zoom on one of the branch points, that would be ideal. Yeah, right. Okay, can try that. Yeah. So there's a couple of things going on here. You've got uh, you've got a zoanthid here on top. Can we focus on the lower portion where it's pink, pink tissue? Is that jumping around? It's ROV sliding down the rock. That's, yeah. So it, it looks to me like this is actually an internodal brancher, which would suggest that it's not one of the primary sparse branchers that uh, Mary's been looking for. Um, so I think we can just carry on and not have to sample this. All set. Thanks. Right there. Bummer. The particular sparse brancher she's been looking for branches at or just above the node. So where those dark the bands camera occur. Um, to the starboard rail cam. Yeah, yeah. starboard cam. Yeah. Has, she, has Mary found it out here yet? She has one at okay. least. I think maybe one or two. I feel like it's been very sparse. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also 4K. Yep. Cliff cam. Call that thing. Okay, are we going up, left, right? Yeah. Where do up. we want to go? Let's up. Go up. Waypoint. Yep. I feel like we can all breathe normally now. <laughs> it's uh, you know, it's tough. You know, the corals want to grow what they want to grow. <laughs> it's a nice cliff. I could spend all day. Yeah, me too. Here. And. Uh, we have a bunch of surly geologists uh, <laughs> on deck. So we'll do zero one five again. I really like the looking down view. Yeah, no, yeah. it's really it's nice. Good, it That's gives you cool. a sense of what we're looking at there. Bridge nav. Two zero wow. meters, zero one five, please. Look at that. Bamboo coral garden here. Totally. I can't quite get over there. I'm at the end of my leash. Otherwise, I'd already be around there. Frustrating. Yeah, that's really nice. There's huge densities out there. Oh, so this is what this is what I was mentioning okay. earlier about um, flow conditions. You can see the particle particles of marine snow are tracking through the the frame, uh, you know, from the right to the left. So from the east towards the west in this case, uh, and this these good flow conditions are delivering, you know, consistent food.